Ubisoft have today confirmed that beloved Japanese actor Johnny Somali will voice Yasuke, the legendary samurai who famously defeated Nobuanga and unified Japan single-handedly at the Battle of the Golden Guy in 1996 in their upcoming game. Show your best flaw in judo. Flaw. <laughs> This floor, she got two very good holds. But this is Yasuki, who they say, oh, he was a Japanese, right? Jap <laughs> Fucking hell, I'm messing up my lines today. What? Okay. <laughs> I will get this out, I promise. And also the video. Well, from that dramatic intro, folks, you know what I'll be talking about today. Assassin's Creed Shadows. I can hardly wait to do a reaction for this trailer, which dropped over two days ago, and already it's been blasted from here to high heaven. Now listen, as a guy who hasn't played every single entry in that long-running series, uh, but you know, the earlier games are fantastic. Brotherhood, the original Assassin's Creed, Syndicate, Black Flag, which a lot of people have cited, is their absolute favorite. I even have Rogue or Rouge if we're from a French region, which was an Xbox only release, if I'm not correct. But oh my god, I tell you, this is um this is a nuclear meltdown. It really is. It's a fallout. And the Ubisoft, you know what? Ubisoft, if he had listened to us years and years and years ago, Ubisoft, can you just come here for a second, please? Yeah, yeah. And Ubisoft kept coming out with excuses of, well, we don't really want to do that because you know, it's not really what we're following at the moment. We're just doing other things. And then, of course, what happened? Ghost of Tsushima came out a few years ago, won awards, won plaudits because shock horror, it was actually set in feudal Japan and got everything correct with how uh, the main protagonist held their swords and how everything was just beautifully done there. He even won an award from the people because Tsushima was the island, I believe. The white developers who were also attacked because you shouldn't have white developers talking to us about cultural Japan. And of course, yeah, when you see the writer of this absolute diatribe. Now look, I'm just premeditating. This game could actually be great. Megatron must be stopped. No matter the cost. Works for me. I wear sunglasses at night. So I can, so I can track the visions in my mind. There's someone behind me, isn't there? I'm oh, still fuck. hot though. What's that? This is the 4K trailer reaction for Assassin's Creed Shadows. I can't wait to see this. This will be something special. Oh, and by the way, I should have pointed this out. This is a cinematic trailer, so there'll be no actual gameplay. And the characters, especially the female protagonist, the other one you can play as. So if you don't want to play as a black samurai, because that's obviously historically accurate in feudal Japan, you can play as the Japanese female. And if I decide to buy this game, then I'll probably play as her instead. This is the chick. All I have ever known in my life, I will end. 
Our customs. My family. Burn. Okay, some people have actually said she looks a bit like a man. I disagree. She looks quite attractive, actually. Nothing wrong. She's, she looks... I mean, this is like... Remember, folks, this is the cinematic trailer, okay? I've seen the actress who plays the woman, and she's okay. Um, I'm just wondering what the actual final version will be like in-game. That's the thing. Look, if uh, Star Wars Outlaws hasn't taught us anything already about Ubisoft, then nothing will. Burns. Yeah, the cinematics are beautiful. Oh, you still a frog in a well who knows nothing of the sea. The oceans fill with new ships, but they all come from the same river. Greed. Uh oh. So look, on any other day, if this was like an alternative universe of Japan, then people will have no problem with this guy. So this is Yasuki, okay? He is a Japanese man-servant. So Samuel L. Jackson should know all about that from Jingo Unchained. Django Unchained. <laughs> So yeah, all this celebration that he was the first black samurai, he's not. He was recorded as being a servant to a Japanese rich household. Honestly, if it was like an alternative universe, nobody would have a problem with it. This is a long trailer, by the way. What else have we got? We must learn to trust, rebuild. Daddy, that's a black man. I know, daughter. Keep walking. <laughs> that sounds like um, the Rolling Stones uh, painted black. That's what it sounds like. I know it's not. But honestly, Ubisoft, what did you expect? I mean, you do this trailer, it's over three minutes long, it didn't even gauge my interest, so much so I won't even watch the rest of it because it's boring cinematics. You're advertising a video game, but you're not showing us video gameplay. And yes, before some of you say, well, Jason, you didn't run the entire trailer, look, I can just go through this and I can even tell you there is no video gameplay. It's, it's a soulless husk of a trailer. It doesn't sell me at all. I mean, she looks nice, but like I said, this is the actual cinematic trailer, right? Though, how much do you think this trailer or this cutscene cost alone? Probably a couple of million. The most heroic thing about this trailer is that they left the comment section open. Remember, never pre-order. If you want Assassin's Creed in Japan and play Ghost of Tsushima, guys, please stop bashing Ubisoft. I can't upvote you all. <laughs> Remember, this is Ubisoft, no pre-orders. So this trailer has been ratioed from here to hell, man, and it deservedly so. It absolutely deserves it. And if you just go to Bounding Into Comics, following the Assassin's Creed Shadows trailer, a former contractor for Ubisoft reveals that uh, the rejected pitch was historically accurate for the franchise entry. I guess they all tossed it all out for a black samurai. Well, well done. Thanks, Ubisoft. I mean, Ubisoft, the company that prided itself in saying that our games are made with a faith-based team of developers. And when you read that disclaimer at the beginning of every game, you thought, okay, well, this is cool. I don't mind. That's fine. It wasn't telling me anything I don't need to know. And you kind of got a respectful video game in a process, which is fine. That That's actually okay. But uh, now it seems Ubisoft have been given some ESG and DEI money and they've been told you need to go and make this type of game because it's going to please a lot of people. 
Um, and there is a guy um, I've seen him online where he does actually a breakdown of the whole video. So this guy's called Kader and uh, his reaction pretty much sums it up. It's like a two minute and 48 second video. But honestly, his reaction was a lot more engaging, a lot more riveting than that god awful trailer we just seen let's see hear what mr kato says so we got our first look at the assassin's creed game and i gotta say man i i'm not impressed i'm actually just really annoyed right now we have two main protagonists one female one male just like odyssey i'm gonna be using nao i hope i said that right a female japanese character and for the male character they're gonna be using yasuke now i'm annoyed because they're using yasuke and i'm gonna tell you why Yasuke is what they want to say is the first black Japanese samurai when in all actuality he was not even a samurai. He was a retainer so he wasn't even a full-blown samurai and for all of the characters they could have used for Japan all of these kind of different people they could have picked from they picked Yasuke. Why do they pick Yasuke? Because he's black. Absolutely that's it. That's the only reason. It's DEI, it's ESG, it's sweet baby ink, black girl gamers nonsense all thrown into that one proverbial pile of dog shit. And that's what they want to give us. And, you know, this is a good video because he goes I on to say... Why. We know why. Yeah. But they're not going to tell you why. Because if you call it out, you're some kind of ist or phobe or whatever. Yep. And since I'm black and I'm calling it out, that means that I must hate my skin or something. You know how they do. I just see this and my immediate thought is... They did this for brownie points. I can't think of any other reason why you would have a Assassin's Creed game based in Japan, which we've been clamoring for since the beginning of Assassin's Creed, and then have the main protagonist that is a male be black. I see that and I'm like, that's that. Uh, there's no other reason than I want claps for it. There's no other reason. I mean, I'm going to add to that as well, because if you think about it, Ubisoft don't want to be seen copying sucker punches goes to tsushima because if they make if everybody's going to start calling it a clone and apparently as well now some japanese players are saying that even in i mean it's a cinematic trailer they're saying that the characters don't hold the swords in the correct way or use the correct stances so that's pretty hilarious actually so i'll leave you a link for this gentleman's video and you can watch it yourself but what he said is entirely correct and i i can't dispute uh his findings about it is absolutely right as soon as you see it it's like well, it's a japanese video game uh, but why don't we have a japanese protagonist so if furthermore people will i mean the minute i heard about this i was also thinking is somebody going to mention neo right here well he didn't have a problem with him when he was a white ninja boy back in the day for a video game but as people have pointed out but it's actually based on a true story where a white gentleman went to japan and became a ninja so that is in itself a uh, a problem that people can't get to grips with. Um, Grums here has said, I'm Asian and Ubisoft decided to erase me and replace me in a game about my own country. Isn't that what they would say if they made an Assassin's Creed Shadows with a white dude? Uh, what are they okay with when they picked a black dude? Yeah, absolutely. That is spot on actually. And of course, you remember my guy, William Spivey, who was complaining that, yeah, Shogun with Hiroyuki Sanada is a great show, but where are all the black people at? And of course, it's Feudal Japan. Got to remind you guys again, and girls, it's Feudal Japan, where some black people may have come ashore in Japan, but they were not going to be qualified to either be a ninja or a samurai. So it's really funny that people are now pushing for it. And here we go. Among those names who have been ascertained, um, he is, that is Yasuke, the earliest African to appear in Japanese historical records. And again, everything about him, his documentation, his documented life, he, you know, he was a servant. Uh, he, there was proverbs that he may have been a samurai, but that's never been proven to be the case. Even the legendary Chris Tucker got the joke in 1998 in the classic Rush Hour. What a shame then that Ubisoft have failed to realise the punchline is backfiring against them. You see, June Tao, because he told me to come down here because I'm his head brother from Beijing. Me and him got the same mama. I'm black and these. We all the same. Oh, hey, man. Wait a minute, wait a minute. 
Ubisoft, if you go to their website, this is absolute dog shit. So when you go to the next tab here, play up to three days early with Ubisoft Plus Premium. We're not going to do that. The Gold or the Ultimate Edition. Live the intertwined stories of Naro and adept Shinobi Assassin from Igwa province or from the Iga province and Yasuke, the powerful African samurai of historical legend. There you go, a legend, not based on an actual true life event. It's a legend. Legend means like a dragon. Yeah, you know, those mythical creatures are the stuff of legend. I wish they were goddamn real, but sadly they're not. So look at that. The standard edition, we're going to call it 60 pounds. The gold edition, yep, yeah, for a few dollars more, almost 100 pounds. And the ultimate edition is 115 quid. I think these are the same price point as Outlaws as well, the Star Wars Outlaws game with the PlayStation 2 graphics. Yep, yeah, don't pre order, folks. Just don't. Wait for the reviews to come out. Um, also, I thought this was a bit strange. Um, an update from the team on Assassin's Creed Shadows. We wanted to share some early information on the upcoming launch for our brand new game. Assassin's Creed Shadows will not require a mandatory connection at all times. However, an online connection is needed to install the game, but you'll still be able to enjoy the entire journey offline and explore Japan without any online connection. But the point is, Ubisoft is, when we buy the disc on day one, it's a blank slate. There's nothing on the disc. We actually have to put it into our console of choice and download the damn game. How does that make any sense? It's not like the good old days of the good old era of gaming, but when you bought a physical game disc, the game is already in there. Yeah, you'd install it into your uh, console of choice. I keep saying that phrase but then it will just give you updates. The game was already on the disc. So this is a practice I actually hate as a customer. This one called Peking Duck. Very tasty, like flower. Sayonara. Of course, if you want to rub the salt into the proverbial wound, this is a, this article, as soon as I saw it, I just, I just, I just lost my mind. Yeah. Games designer claims to reveal original plan behind Assassin's Creed Shadows feature the Japanese monk as the main character. And when you get into this, this is a really good read, actually. So, my God. There was a noble woman turned ninja assassin. This is actually based on the real life only recorded female ninja there was. Now, I'm not sure that's meant to be what she looks like or near enough. It's probably a fantastical rendition. Uh, but yeah, apparently there were a lot of hot ninja chicks in that proposed game for, to Ubisoft many, many years ago. But none of them were playable. So you would have had hot female ninja chicks with big titties going around with swords that you'd be able to fight with. But sadly, we're not going to get that, are we, folks? It's just such a travesty, isn't it? You just can't get give the gamers what they crave, what they desire. Um, as Learning the Laura stated here, how I always imagined an Assassin's Creed in Japan would be. But of course, it's the pre-woke era versus what we actually got. Yeah, isn't that just such a shame, folks? It's um, That's what it should have been, and that's what we get. <laughs> You could have had Hiroyuki Sonada voicing the main male protagonist. That would have been awesome. People would have been so happy because that guy is like the solid foundation when it comes to what you think of, of Japan and how you might see your character embodied. But wow, oh wow. I mean, what more can I say, folks? This is just kind of... Uh, it's, it's just getting out of order, isn't it? It really is. And people just don't really give. Three sheets to the whim anymore, or to the wind. You know, speaking of which. Yeah, Assassin's Creed Shadows. It's a very boring generic title as well isn't it when you think about it in the grand scheme of things like wow coming out of the shadows oh i can hardly wait and yeah 
if the game is good, I mean, Valhalla started off rough, but it got better. But if this game starts off, you know, it gets great word of mouth. Um, and, but then again, if you're playing as one or the other protagonists, it's the same story path, but from their point of view, right? There's not going to be any uh, sh uh, shift changes in decision making, is there? I think it's just going to be you play as one or the other character. And yes, I played most of Assassin's Creed Odyssey and it was good. I was Cassandra, actually. I kind of liked the look of her. She was a, an attractive female character. But at the end of the day, and but then again, the main point of contention with her is, is that there were no such things as a female Spartan. So when Ubisoft talk about, oh, we're, we're here for historical accuracy, and you know, they never do that. Then, well, of course, it's a video game, so what do you expect? So honestly, this is going to get a lot worse before it gets any better. The actor who plays the main role of Yasuki will go on the defense path and say, no, he's based on a true story, and you all should not be hating on him because he's black. All of that's going to come out. At the end of the day, it takes me out of the experience. I mean, imagine me watching the water margin, okay? I'm watching that and suddenly I see black or Indian people appearing out of nowhere in, in a Japanese or Chinese neighborhood in this case. That's going to make me think, well, hang on a minute. What are they doing here? What, what's going on? So if I were you, ladies and gentlemen, and if you were me, you might want to come back for the next video. Victoria Principal, I worship your boobies from the 1980s. Give it to me, baby. Oh my god. Imagine. Imagine 12 Imagine. months of Imagine. conditioning. 12 months of the finest progressive resistance equipment available. Imagine 12 months of aerobic classes. 12 months of whirlpools, saunas, steam rooms. I'm getting steamy. Imagine 12 months of swimming. Now imagine it all for only thirty dollars a month at Who's Jack Lane European Health what? Spa Holiday Spa. No, it's a great offer, and you know it. Oh, I do, all right, Victoria. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. <laughs>